Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another Vex map. Uh, this time I have decided, well, first of all it's legendary, which is legendary, believe it or not. It's supposed to be one of the hardest um, super hostile maps out there. And I, well, I'm playing it in 1.2.5. I don't think this version works for me on the launcher, it just always crashes, so I'm using the multi-MC launcher. Also, the no sound bug was affecting this, um, but thankfully I found a video online that helped sort that. So we got it all working, and that's good. So let's just get right into it. We're on hard difficulty. I have started this map, and by started I mean I've gone into the next room, and that's as far as I got. So it's going to be an entirely new experience. Um, maybe I should I should have installed a mod like um, what do you call it? Better sprint or you know to get a sprint key. You know what I need to get rid of? Um, I need to get rid of view bobbing. Also need to get rid of fast. Fa well, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. All right. <laughs> Idiot test. Yes. Well, fun fact. I am uh, not an idiot. <laughs> well, <laughs> not now anyway. Uh, do not. Okay, this is for SAP spawning. Uh, anyway, these are the rules. Survive in any way you can think of. Use at least easy, never peaceful. Uh, find and complete the victory monument. Don't use dice for wolves. Good luck. I hate you, die in a fire. Well, sooner than you think, bro. Uh, so, I've never watched any videos of this either. For those that don't know, the idea is to collect 16 different colours of wool and the three metal blocks, iron, gold and diamond, and place them on a designated monument. And yeah, this is number 7, Legendary. This is the first authentic one I've played since Kaizo Caverns, so... Yeah, fun fact for you there. All the, the previous two I played are not official maps anymore. Uh, these are the shoutouts. Pause the video if you want to read them, if that interests you. Uh, side note, LPRs for LPRs, YouTube is typically darker than your screen, remember? It, well, it used to be. I don't think it's like that anymore. Uh, this map contains 150% more signs. Good stuff. So we've got the classic uh, starter chest. My mouse is ending up down there. That's because I never went into a, a full minimised view. So we're just going to have to deal with it for now. But I'll sort that for next episode. Uh, don't expect buckets anytime soon. Uh, no harvestable blocks yet. You'll have to go into the creepy do Okay. So there's no way to get across here, so we'll have to go that way. Uh, oh man, there's so many signs. Now I thought this was obvious, but you can break blocks. Take torches. Do whatever, just to be clear. This is a survival map first. Adventure map second. Just really evil survival map. And then it's got a number. The number of the beast is 6 6. Anyway, moving on. Uh, yeah, so we could take the torches here. Um, it still seems to be light for some reason, so I don't mind taking a few. There seems to be an excess of torches around. Like, this is something I would typically do in a survival world. I'd just leave, you know, far too many torches lying around. Like these ones we don't really need because it's, you know, it's over glass. Just get rid of all these. And we will take them for our own personal use. I'm not actually sure we're supposed to take them from this room. It's legendary. I, we'll need all the help we can get. And then we'll make the crossing, I reckon. So that's 30. 30 um, torches. Not bad. I'm a bit too scared, though, that I'm not going to get across. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Well, we might as well just go for it. Okay. Can we do it? Yes, we made it. Right. We do have a battle sign with no enchants. So I, I'm not sure when this map was originally made, but this updated version is for uh, 1.2, which is what we're in. We're in the right version for once. I'm trying to just fit a torch in there. Apparently there's loads of different uh, biomes, there's loads of different uh, things to explore in this map, so it should be good. Well, it should be frustrating as well. The, the readme document says you will die a lot so yeah I'm just waiting for that there doesn't seem to be too much oh heck okay I spoke too soon how are we gonna do this then are they all stuck oh yeah just explode please no there we go 
I'm not sure if that was necessarily the best thing to do. But, we've done it. Mobby Eye is a bit different. Episode 1, my commentary is always like, decent. Like, as in, it's always later episodes that I become a bit more frustrated. And, uh, things go stale. Alright, let's just, uh, go around here, lighting up. I've not used a, a lot, like, I've always had a sprint key for all the Minecraft I've played recently, except for Cosmic UTC, where we agreed to turn it off, although it didn't really make much of a difference. I think it just annoyed us, it didn't really, like, the viewers didn't really, I don't get the impression that any of the viewers, um, you know, figured out that's what we were doing. Oh, come on, go away. There we go. Right. Uh, nah, just messing with you. Don't know what he's saying. Uh oh, zombie spawner. Let's light that up. Blooming glad we took all these torches away for, uh, for the start. Right. There it is. You're almost there. There's bound to be a trap. There's bound to be a trap. Um, let's do that. Right, here we go. There's the tree. Right, let's just run around, lighting up this area. There's some coal. I'm gonna get knocked off, I can just tell. We need to do it before it's, in, it's like daytime. Let's do that. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pillar up. Oh, look at that! Look at those MLG t skills! MLG skills for the win. Whoa! Flipping it, they got up. How? 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 <laughs> Get lost. No. There we go. Oh man, just breathe, breathe and relax. Um, unfortunately, we're gonna have to eat this, and we're just gonna have to stand still for the moment, and hopefully that skeleton doesn't come over. Hopefully, we heal up as much as possible. Saturation shouldn't be too much of an issue. The biggest downside to this version is you don't get carrots or tatties, which are notorious for being a lifesaver for. CTM players after um, October, November 2013, which was when it came out. I, fun fact, I didn't actually update my world to 1.4 for the longest of times, I have no idea why. Like, for some reason I thought it would just break everything and I didn't do it, but, like, I thought updates were evil and all that. But, um, it was actually alright in the end. It's probably one of my favourite updates at the time. Of the first three I encountered, 1.2, 1.3, 1. Point. Oh look, there's more up there. Whew, and there's a, a load of zombies over there. Right, I think before we mess about... Oh, how did he get up? No idea, but we're going to have to... I hear another guy. We should probably get tools and stuff sorted. Like swords and stuff. Uh, let's, let's just chop down this tree for the moment. Oh, did I lose a piece? I don't think so. Right, let's uh, let's get ourselves a workbench. I would like to go without dying, but I mean, I don't know, we'll see. The mob AI, as I said, is different, so that should be... It should help us slightly. So much that's different about these versions. Not played one of these versions in a long time. I went through a phase where I played a lot of 1 point, beta 1.7.3 because a lot of the maps I was playing, uh, they were in that versions. Or, yeah, in, in, yeah, in those vi Whatever. Anyway, um, I'm going to maybe go and pick up... Well, should we pick up that? We might as well pick up this. We have one sapling. Hopefully all this despawns. We've got loads and loads and loads of uh, coal around, which is very useful. Uh, I might as well put that there. Hmm. I would also like to do it, like... Because usually when I record CTM, I just play it through and then edit later. Like, I don't stop my episodes at specific times, but... I don't know. Now, now I've started. I've not, like, I've not started a timer or anything. Oh, I'm just going to keep going, honestly. I'm just going to keep playing until... You know, the episode might have ended already, it might not have ended, it might end in a bit, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll wait and see. Uh, anyway, we've got some coal, which is very useful. There we go. You know what, actually? I'm not sure if blocks are more important or torches. See, the problem is I'm not going to be able to hockey to nine unless I 
reach across and hit it. So we're going to have to put something in slot 2. Um, we should go down there, I feel, and just make that area um, a little safer than it is. I don't think anywhere will be safe by definition. But we'll see. Anyway, glad we came down here because we were able to pick up the... Oh, hi. Um, let's do that. Right, ready? This could have been a mistake. In fact, I think it was. Whoa, hi! Flip. Let's run. Got him. There we go. All sorted. Do I regret that? Uh, only a little. Apples. Apples do come off trees in this version. So, you know, there's every chance we'll get an apple. Let's, uh, let's get our food on our eighth slot. Right, there we go. Right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do something very daring. We're going to try and get rid of uh, the zombie... Well, stop the zombies from uh, being able to reach the area we're at. There's an apple. See, told you. First, the first Ultra Hardcore ever played was in 1.1. So that therefore implies that you can get uh, apples from this version. There we go. There we go. And actually, maybe it isn't. No. Okay. Never mind. The the AI is already updated. I my mistake. This isn't the old AI. This is the. I mean. Oh hi. Oh. That's me out of a sword. Uh, I mean, it's still it's older AI than what we're used to. Because, for example, zomb zombies don't call their mates or anything like that, um, like to g give them a hand with fighting the player. But you know, there it's not like the old AI where zombies would just well creepers would strafe, skeletons would strafe, just just about every mob would strafe. Maybe that was a good thing. I I don't know. We've got some gravel. That's about it. That's all it's good for. Just. A piece of flint. Uh, right, what does the sign say here? Break this. Oh, that's going to give us a bridge. I hope. So if we die, yeah, we'll have an easy way of coming back. Nice. Uh, there are... These are... Oh, look, there's something over there. A sign. These are the last two things where I am nice. No more training wheels after this. And don't ask me for help on the four hams either. Not for this map at least. I'll just laugh at you. But yeah, I suggest get another player to help me out. Zenger, where are you when I need you? <laughs> um, hey, what do you think you are doing? Oh, I'm guessing that's in case somebody like dug through the wall. I feel the need to like take my time over this for some reason. Something something treasure, the combo, the chest, okay whatever. Right, well we've got food, that's the main thing, we've got a chest. I'm glad I wasn't standing on that block, otherwise I would have been well and truly torched. And I'm just going to spend some time collecting the coal. Oh look! Hey, secret chest! I'm glad I was paying attention. Um, yeah, we'll just spend some time getting the coal. Like, there's no reason not to. Okay, here we go, here we go, there's something right here! <gasps> oh. That's fine, that's fine. I didn't get blown up. Yeah, creepers are, I think, easy in this version. Like, easier than normal. Like, I think if you block... Oh, no, that's a 1.7 thing. If you block, you are pretty much guaranteed to not take any damage. Okay, here we go. Let's just uh, put a torch in there. Um, let's head over here and kill these guys. Yes, look. Whoa! Oh man, that was a chest. Don't think wood was the, the best choice of block to use, but I mean, there you go. We should be alright. Um, yeah, so a chest got blown up. I'm not too worried. Like, I, I doubt it. Obviously, it wasn't a wool chest. A wool chest would be the only thing that would bother me if I if I somehow lost one of those. Uh, yeah, so look, the creepers, in modern versions, they might explode at this kind of a range, but they're not. Oh, hi. Let's uh, get that back. There we go. 
Right, let's figure this out. Five years later, when we can finally break it. Yeah, there's no, no point in breaking spawners other than to get rid of the threat once and for all.